All right, in this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to create circular text in Make the Cut software. Right now, I'm in version 3.0 beta. However, you can do this in previous versions as well, and we'll show you how to do it. Um, in order to get started, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to move this down here because I'm going to be referencing it a little later. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and double click anywhere on the mat where I want my text to start. Uh, doesn't matter, we can always move it later. And we're going to go ahead and select the font that you want to use. Uh, and I'm just going to uh, select this Cooper Black and I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, the text group, you know, add a text group to the mat. I'm going to keep keep this with the current phrase, uh, Scrappy Doo Creations, and I'm going to make sure that this auto split is uh, check marked. Then I'm going to hit add. All right, so we have text on our mat, and if you can't see your text because it's flowing off the mat, you can go ahead and use the zoom tools here to uh, to see your text. All right, so the next thing that we need to do, we want Scrappy Doo to be uh, on the top, and we want the creations to be on the bottom. Now, if you uh, don't do what I'm saying to do right now, you'll you'll get circular text that looks like this. And for this demo, we are wanting it to look like this. So all right, in order to uh, to get that creations on the bottom just like that, whatever you want on that bottom circle right here, you're going to have to highlight it. And you can go ahead and use these triangles here, which is called mirror. And then you're going to use this one right here, where it's the flip. And that way, it is, it's sort of like it's upside down. That's what it, you're really doing. And in order to, to make it circular, to work like this, that's what you're going to have to do. All right, so once you have that flipped and reversed, uh, I'm going to go ahead and highlight everything. And I'm going to go use the Beezer Warp. Now, that's going to be on your Shape Magic toolbar right here. And it looks like a looks like a circle in orbit. It's like a little atom, and it's called Beezer Warp. So you're gonna go ahead and select that, and already you can see it's starting to look good. Um, I always like to use my vertical align. I always like to use the middle. Uh, no no particular reason. Just I just like to have have it on the middle. And now you can see it's a it's the circle. You can go ahead and hit apply. And once you hit apply, see it already resized everything. And if you want it bigger, all you have to do is use those handles. And if you want it to have the scrappy do on top and the creations on the bottom, all you have to do is use those use the rotation handles and get it to where you want. So that's that's basically all you have to do to get circular text. All I did uh, to get that little little border background right here is I used the shadow, uh, the the shadow layer effect, and you know, it puts a nice little shadow. That's that's all I did to to get that logo that you see behind here. So with that, I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com. Make sure you uh, you check our website out as well as our Facebook page. So go ahead and check that out as well. So until next time, I'll see you later.